All right, Ruthie. You got my coffee mug there. What do you plan on doing with this, sister? You're going to try it? <laughs> You're not going to like it. I will. You know what? It grows hairs on your chest. Yes! What? <laughs> Girls don't need hairs on their chest. What are you... Are you quivering? <laughs> okay, no coffee for you. So, yeah. Hi, I'm Brad. And I'm Krista. And she's sick. I did. I got sick. You did it. It's all your fault. How is it my fault? <laughs> it's I mean, not. It just happens. We're sick. Yeah, but you knew that and already. tired. Sick and tired. <laughs> like that Bill Cosby bit. His mom. <laughs> yeah. You're sick and tired. I mean, you're yeah. gonna get the worst beating of your life. So, yeah, we're sick and tired, mm -hmm. uh, but we've got to keep moving forward. Yep. The self-reliant road show has got to get on the road, which means we've got to get that bus Clean out. gutted. And uh, we were able to get quite a bit more done. Uh, we got the other side completely done, taken out of the beds and the cabinets. Um, it's just now the as the kids call it, the interrogation room. And then the two rooms in the very back that yeah. we need to take the walls out and the cabinets well, out, so. Take a look. Hey, Mama, you're doing a great job, baby. Now it's free. It's free. All right, kid, you gotta bring that on back because we gotta measure it because we're gonna cut it short because that's ugly. Yep. And we're gonna keep this here, TV above, I think. But that's ugly. And this being a blood mobile, I don't even want to know what that is. And that just it seems so disgusting. Uh huh. -huh. Super beefy. Yeah. Super beefy. All right. There we go. Laziest blood mobile workers ever. They were stuffing the, the used supplies down behind, behind the, chair. the chairs. God forbid you actually get up and find a, a trash, trash can. Yeah. Medical waste. That's nasty. All right, people. So with all of the excitement we've been just blessed with, with the Self-Reliant Roadshow and wanting to get the buses and wanting to get out there and start helping people. There's so much to do. Well, the, the <laughs> part of the problem is, honestly, we've been neglecting a lot of the stuff that we needed to get done first because we want to get out there. So today, Prep Center Bob has been, you know, an amazing help as always. Uh, and we're gonna really make it a big deal to get the dang engine out of this machine so that we can get a new engine in the machine so that we can sell the machine so we can afford to go out. <laughs> Order of operations, right? Follow me, people. Absolutely. But my son, God love him, is I think what we call a tool tornado. Uh-oh. Anywhere the kid goes, all my tools end up like in the mailbox, down the street, on the roof. And so we're stuck. He's been down below trying to break one single, one bolt. Yeah. For and, a, yeah. And, and on older vehicles, especially as they're exposed to all the salt, sand, snow, all that stuff, it just gets hard. And we've been able to do most everything with a simple 3 8 drive, but today we're gonna get serious. So, <laughs> pause button, we're going to the store because I can't find the single stupid socket yeah. that we need, but we'll get there. All right, so we need your prayers, people. We need your prayers, people. Because I got to tell you what, I cannot emotionally <laughs> take this anymore. We want to go out. We want to get out of Goshen. We want to get out among the people. One nut at a time. Yeah, so that counts me out. <laughs> All right, people, I'm going to share with you the secret. Uh, I, I would even say it's more than a method, it's, it's a formula for how to waste four hours of time. Ugh. And this is it. This is it. This <laughs> is how to waste four hours of time. Now, do tell why. Oh, it, it's, you know, you get one little spot, you got to have the right tool for the right job. That's common knowledge. We understand that. But we thought you had it, and, and it's not in your toolbox. We went to my toolbox, and my son has it, and it's not there. We go to the local hardware store. store, 
They no. don't have that exact one. And then one more. And then we had to go to another one. And it's sort of like hunting for Easter eggs. You just keep hunting until you find the right one. Yeah. And then, and then oh. of course, we had to have lunch. Oh, but of course. And now we can do, with this, Get one that. bolt. One bolt that is stopping us from taking the engine out. It's always one. So let this be a lesson to you. For those of you out there who want to waste four hours, just come on over to my house and try to build something. Because we won't have the tool. <laughs> just remember at home setting, yeah, it's, it's one job at a time, but sometimes that one oh, job yeah. takes all day. Oh, yeah. Like scooping frozen poop. <laughs> We're really good at that. Looks like you gotta come up a little bit. Ooh, it's almost out, Grace. All right, stop, stop. All right, here's where we have to have manly thoughts. Manly thoughts. Manly thoughts. Yes. What are those? I've got a manly prayer. Yes. I am a man, but I can change if I have to. I guess. I guess. Now. That was the easy part. What do you mean that was the easy part? Uh, enough of that. This is just silliness. You just got back from the post office. I did. I did. And tomorrow is going to be tomorrow a weird a, day for them? Kind of a weird day. It's a day of mourning. For President H.W. <laughs> for President H.W. Bush, right. right. He passed away. And I know I, I'm sitting quite low. I decided to see if my rocking chair would work, but no. I Not put the me. rock in rocking chair, baby. Right. Anyway. But it's a weird thing. They still got to be there. The, the post mistress has to be in the building. The door has to stay locked all day during business hours and off business hours, of course. But she cannot take mail. She can't give mail. She can't sell postage or anything like that. So why she got to be there? I don't know exactly, but packages are still being delivered tomorrow. What? Just packages. Mail will not be picked up, but packages will be delivered. Now, hold on a second. I believe President... H.W. Bush was a good president. Yes. And deserving of some respect and yes. honor, of course. Yes. But that just seems like a, such a weird mm -hmm. way that's not going to be effective. Right. It does not, it's not going to make sense. I mean, it's still costing, you know, a lot of money for... To do nothing. To do ba basically nothing. The uh. plant is still open, which is, that's normal, she said, for federal holidays or for, you know, any holidays. Um... But yeah, the plant's still open, but the doors are locked, and no mail will be delivered except for packages. What about female? One for the homies. Okay, so uh, funny thing. We were dancing and being silly in the driveway, and the UPS guy comes over, and he's looking at us like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> I didn't even know we were getting a, pri a prize in the mail here, but, um, and we tell him, like, we have this YouTube channel, and you should just walk by, like the random UPS guy walking by. Yeah, he wouldn't do it. He was laughing his butt off, yeah, but he wouldn't he do it. Like, no. So I have no idea what this is, but we're gonna find out right now. So one, two, three. See that easy? Let's cut this. All right. This is really funny. Um, I don't remember buying these. I uh, don't remember buying that either. And if it was one of you guys out there, thank you. Yeah. But there's no note or anything. No, huh? So, I know. Let's let the kids go crazy coloring. No. 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 Wait, is it off? Is it off? <clears throat> He's a snowman. No. It's no, it's on. Right it's, it, this little thing is one of those Hallmark gifts. Um, uh, little things. I can't remember what it was for, but um, we got these from Hallmark ages ago. Grab the other one, Ruth. And um, it's been so long since I've changed the batteries, they're this corroded in the bottom. This one works. Yeah, where is he? The where are you hand. supposed to pull? Is 
They build jing and then jing bang tang and I'm too. Okay, the let's stop. The is my favorite. Yes. Okay. So we've had these for, oh goodness, 20 years at Easily. least. Yeah, my mom got us started in them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these are the only two we actually ended up getting. <laughs> yeah. Which is totally fine because every year they come out and whenever the kids are younger, they play them incessantly. You're like, please. Please stop. Can I just have nails on a chalkboard instead of these yeah. things? I would prefer that. Thankfully, they're only out for about a little over a month. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, a lot of work is getting done very quickly. And even though I'm on the tail end of sick, mm -hmm. hopefully she's not going to get where I got because it's stank. No, I won't. I, I, this morning in the shower, I put eucalyptus oil on a wash rag and just... <gasps> breathe that in it was so nice and it really did open up my lungs but that was this morning so hey request a, a quick request for you guys i got two things real quick and then we'll call the video done um the first thing is you know we are trying to grow the community and and i'm a firm believer in the the phrase the rising tide lifts all ships so the more prepared-minded people diyers homesteaders farmers that we can get all sharing information, uh, the better yeah. in my book. And so I would just ask, you know, if you don't mind, share some of our videos on your Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you got a blog, put it out there. Um, also, if you have the ability to take a little video, you give us a shout out. If you're like, hey, I like, you know, Big Family Homestead, cause blah, blah, blah. If you can mail that to me, Maybe we can put them together and stick them out on, on the, uh, email. the the interwebs. Yeah, email that. No, us. you can't email you can't. them. No, it's far too big. Well, how do you mail it? You put it on like a Google Drive. That would be email. Or you put it up on your YouTube page and then I pull it down. Oh. You, you don't do tech, Mama. I do tech. It's I okay. do some kinds of tech. I don't do that tech. I tech. I use Apple products and he does not. And anytime he has a question, honey, how do you do this? Because it's not intuitive. For the company that's supposed to be all, oh, we're for creative minds, it is not intuitive. They, they hide files. <laughs> when you want to get rid of something, you can't just go, hey, delete it. No. You have to drag it to the stupid trash can, and then, and then it doesn't get rid of it. Well, and no, even when you wait, do that. Wait, hold on. A Microsoft product has the same pro option. The recycle bin, you still have to empty that. If I have a file selected, I hit delete, it goes bye-bye. It goes to the de it goes to the recycle bin. Yes, it does. Which you then still have to empty. It's the same kind of thing. Except with Apple products, if you bring media in, it's somewhere else on the hard drive still. Ta-da! For the creative minds. <laughs> Not buying it. Anyway, <coughs> the second thing is this. Um, Prepsteader Bob and I have come up with an idea that we're going to share on Friday. I want to kind of just tease it out just a little bit because this is going to be a way that you or businesses or practically anybody can get involved in helping the roadshow succeed. And, and I mean everybody would be able to do this, and it's going to be so cool. I, I don't want to give more than that, but we'll make an announcement on Friday of what this is. But I, I've never seen any YouTube channel come close to doing this level of getting help into exactly the hands that right. need it. Right. And so with that, I'm going to go and stick my head in something warm that will soothe. Yeah. The savage beast within. I think the fire is dead, so I gotta go restart it. I'll do it, baby. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys.